Making stock in a pressure cooker. I bet you never thought of that. Well, I'll tell you, it is, it is wonderful. It intensifies the flavor. It enhances the natural flavors. And it takes about 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, instead of four hours. Or in my case, at the restaurant, 24 hours. Uh, it's, stocks are so important and so easy to make. You know, I don't cook anything without it at the restaurant. And so it, it's so important to make a stock for anything that you're going to make because using water actually pulls away from the flavor or from whatever you're cooking. When you add stock, you're adding flavor. You're building flavors and building taste. Uh, and that's why it's so important. And it really is easy. It's really not that difficult, especially if you have a pressure cooker. We're going to do uh, chicken stock in this. All right, so instead of four hours or five hours or 24 hours, like in my case, uh, we're talking 15 minutes of uh, making a wonderful, great stock to make, uh, you know, your soups, your sauces. I mean, we even cook our rice in it. Uh, and it's very, very simple. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the fire, get it going here. I'm going to put the water in. Now watch how simple this is. I'm going to put the vegetables in. We've got onions, we've got celery, we've got garlic. Now, I don't put any seasonings in the stock because I'll do that afterwards. I don't want to influence the stock where I only can use it in certain things. I want it to be very universal so I can cook anything I want with it, different things, and add the seasonings afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and put all the chicken bones in. I'm going to just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Cover the pot with the lid. I'm going to line it up here. Lock it in. And we're going to put the regulator on. And it's going to cook at 15 pounds of pressure. So we're going to go ahead and let it get hot. We're going to wait for the button, the lock button to, to pop up and come through here. Uh, and then we're going to let it cook 15 minutes. And then we're going to just let it slowly lose uh, its steam until it's ready. So they really get some slow steaming in at the end. All right, the chicken stock's ready. The pressure's going down. We're going to open it in a minute. I'd like to talk about the stock here for a minute. This is chicken stock, but you can make any kind of stock you want. It, you know, if you, if, you take, if you buy whole chickens and you cut them up, save the back, save the necks, you know, all of the scrap parts. If you, if you buy shrimp, take the peelings, make wonderful shrimp stock. Um, you, you know, you go to your butcher, you ask for the, the cheapest cuts of beef or veal scraps that he has, which is very cheap and easy to do. Uh, another way, too, now, you, if, you, if you remember, I took and didn't roast the bones off. If, if you're making a, a, a gravy that wants, you want that brown taste, then you can brown them off as well. Put them in the oven, put them with some vegetables, the same vegetables, celery, onions, garlic, and just keep turning them in the oven, get a really good brown look on them, a brown uh, covering on them, and uh, it'll make you a totally different stock. It'll be nice and rich and dark and have a lot more flavor. Uh, you can do the same with beef and veal and whatever. Uh, just remember, to, you know, when you is to save the scraps or the trimmings of it, or buy the trimmings. If any stores has it. If they don't have the backs or the necks, you know, talk to the butcher and see what he has, and you can get the stuff fairly cheap. All right, we're going to open it up now. I'm going to take the regulator off, and I did that because the button was down, and I know it's safe. Raise the lid. Wow. The smell just hits you there. So we're going to strain it. I've got a bowl here with a strainer. I'm going to hold the, the rack in there just to make sure it doesn't come popping out here. I'm going to get all the bones in there. Look at that rich color. And that was, that's without browning. So just think if you took that and roasted it in the oven. All right, there we go. Okay, set that aside. Now very carefully pick this up and you just kind of shake it. Now if you let the, the chicken start set for four or five minutes or three or four minutes, let the fat come to the top, the chicken fat. You can skim that off, throw that away. You've got a great stock. Freeze it, uh, hold it for three or four days. It, it, you know, it, it holds very well. Just you, you want to get it chilled down as quick as possible. So you want to get it in the refrigerator once you've skimmed the fat off. And if you really want to make a dish that doesn't have uh, any fat at all is go ahead and leave it in something that's, that's wide, let it get cold, and the fat will congeal at the top, and you can just take a spoon and just flake it off, and your stock will be uh, fat-free. And that's it, chicken stock.